Hello, in this video, you will learn how to determine the effect of data changes on dispersion based on the value of measure of dispersion and also graphical representation. First, we learn to determine the effect of data changes on dispersion based on graphical representation. This topograph shows the score of students in English quiz. When each value of a set of data is subtracted by 2, it is found that the whole dot plot is shifted to the left by 2 units where dispersion, range, interquartile range, standard deviation and variance remains unchanged. What will happen to the measure of dispersion if each value of a set of data is added by a constant? The whole dot plot will shift to the right where dispersion, range, interquartile range, standard deviation and variance remains unchanged. Now let us look at the next dot plot graph. This dot plot graph shows the score of students in mathematics quiz. When each value of a set of data is multiplied by 2, it is found that the dispersion range, interquartile range, standard deviation and variance of the whole dot plot becomes twice as wide. So we look at here 1 times 2 equals here 2 here. 2 times 2, 4. 3 times 2, move to 6. 4 times 2, add and 5 times 2 is 10. So you can see the whole dot plot becomes twice as wide. So now we look at the original score range. 5 minus 1 equals 4. And new score range equals 10 minus 2 equals at is double. When each value of a set of data is multiplied by a constant k, the measures of this version will change. The conclusion is there are no changes to the measures of dispersion when each value of a set of data is added or subtracted by a constant. When each value of a set of data is multiplied by a constant k, then to find the new range, new interquartile range and new standard deviation, the original value times the constant. Whereas for new variance, the original variance must times square of constant. When each value of a set of data is divided by a constant k, then the new range, the new interquartile range and new standard deviation or the original value divided by k. Whereas, for the new variance, the original variance divided by square of k. Now, let us try this question. Range and variance of a data is 9 and 3 respectively. Find range and variance for new data set if every value in original data set is added with 4. As we learned just now, when added with the number, the range and variance remain the same. So range is 9 and new variance is 3. When every value in original data set is multiplied by 4, so new range is equals 4 times 9 equals 36. New variance is 4 power of 2 times 3 equals 48. If every value in original set is divided by 3, so now the new range is 
9 divided by 3 equals 3. Whereas the new variance is 3 divided by the constant now is 3 power of 2 equals 1 over 3. If every value in original data set is added by 3, then multiplied by 2. So what is the new range? We know that when added by 3, the range and variance remain the same. So the new range is 2 multiplied the original range. So 2 times 9 equals 18. And new variance is 2 power of 2 times 3 equals 12. Okay, now we proceed to the next dot plot graph. This dot plot graph shows the score of students in science quiz. When an outlier is added, here, 10. It is found that the dispersion of the whole dot plot becomes wider. Original score range is 5 minus 1 equals 4. New score range now is from 10 here minus 1 equals 9. The measures of dispersion of the new set of data become larger compared to the measures of dispersion of the original set of data when an outlier is added. Now, we learn to determine the effect of data changes on dispersion based on the value of measure of dispersion. Given a set of data 47156, Calculate the standard deviation of the set of data. So before we find the standard deviation, we find the mean first. So how to find the mean? 4 plus 7 plus 1 plus 5 plus 6 divided by 5. Mean equals 4.6. Standard deviation equals 4 power of 2 plus 7 power of 2 plus 1 power of 2 plus 5 power of 2 plus 6 power of 2 divided by 5 minus 4.6 power of 2. Okay, don't forget put the square root. So the answer is 2.059. Now, calculate the new standard deviation when 1 is removed. So, this one I remove it. So, now new mean equals 4 plus 7 plus 5 plus 6 over 4. New mean equals 5.5. Whereas new standard deviation equals square root of 4 power of 2 plus 7 power of 2 plus 5 power of 2 plus 6 power of 2 over 4 minus 5.5 power of 2. New standard deviation equals 1.118. So the conclusion is when the value that has a greater difference from mean is removed, the new standard deviation will be smaller. So just now we remove one. One is a uh, greater different from mean. Mean is 5.5. So you will found that our new standard deviation is smaller than the original standard deviation. Now we calculate the new standard deviation when 5 is added. So new mean equals 4 plus 7 plus 1 plus 5 plus 6 plus 5 
over 6. So new mean equals 4.667. New standard deviation equals square root of 4 power of 2 plus 7 power of 2 plus 1 power of 2 plus 5 power of 2 plus 6 power of 2 plus 5 power of 2 divided by 6 minus square of 4.667 equals 1.885. When the value that is close to the mean is added, the new standard deviation will be smaller. So we see the value of 5 actually near to the mean. The new standard deviation is smaller than the original standard deviation. The last one, calculate the new standard deviation when 20 is added. So we see this number 20 actually is outlier. Okay, so we try to find the new mean. 4 plus 7 plus 1 plus 5 plus 6 plus 20 divided by 6 equals 7.167. New standard deviation equals, equals square root of 4 power of 2 plus 7 power of 2 plus 1 power of 2 plus 5 power of 2 plus 6 power of 2 plus 20 power of 2 over 6 minus square of 7.167 equals 6.039. The question is when the value that has a greater difference from the mean is added, the new standard deviation will be larger. So if we check the original standard deviation with the new standard deviation, we found that the new standard deviation is larger. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more.